<laughs> and so what's next for you? What are you doing lately? I'm working on ukulele right at the moment. Yeah, uh, it's awesome. Just, for that. Uh, just to finish that Civilization Beyond Earth, Rising Tides just come out. Uh, I'm doing stuff for William Pugh. He did the Stanley Parable. What is it called? Uh, William Pugh uh, is a quite a well-known games designer from the UK. He did a game called The Stanley Parable, which was very, very was very well received. But he's got a little new studio now called Crows, Crows, Crows. So I'm working with him. Uh, I'm doing some things I can't talk about, uh, obviously. That I, right, I think quite, of course, I think secrets. Quite big. Yeah, a couple yeah. of things I think are quite big. One of them particularly. Okay. Um, so uh, it's, it's always hard. It's really weird. Like when, like in movie land, they always announce a composer like right at the start. But in video games land, you can't talk about it at all. No. <laughs> uh, it's a bit weird. Um, so yeah, hopefully I would think by E3 next year you'll hear something. I think that'd be quite, quite spectacular from me. Hopefully. Okay. Well, I'm excited to hear about that. Yeah. And I'm also could... sorry. What? No, sorry. No, no, but ukulele is going well. Yeah, I'm really excited to hear about that. So what can we expect? Is it going to be following the Banjo-Kazooie type style of music and characters yeah. and all yeah, that? I think, yeah, I want, to make, I want to make sure that, you know, it's not just a copy. It's not a rip-off. It's going to be a new, you know, new stuff. Of course, yeah. Um, but I want to kind of touch those kind of, um, you know, nice feels from the old times. You know, yeah, like, of course. You have to yeah, do that. So, you know, make yeah, so I think, yeah, so I think it's going to be a bit of both. So I'm hopefully, you know, look over our shoulder to kind of get the spirit of the old games. But then introduce some new stuff because hopefully I'm a better composer now than I was then. I mean, I can't guarantee it, but yeah. hopefully, hopefully I am. Um, so yes, yeah, so it's been good fun. I've kind of done the, I've kind of, I think I've done the first level. So a main theme and three, three variations to fade to and a little boss tune as well so far. Yeah. So, um, exciting. Yeah. So I kind of, um, I'm waiting for the next one. So I think that'll kind of, I'll do bits and bits and pieces for them over the course of the next year. Cause it should be out this time next year. Um, but you know, it's it, think about doing ukuleles. It's all the all my mates from Rare that did the Banjo Kazooie games all together again for the first time since that point. So it's just like the old times, really. All the Mickey takings, just the piss takings, just the same. All the in jokes, nothing. It's like the last eighteen years, I haven't I haven't passed it all. It's just like it's just like it's gone from Banjo Kazooie to this. Yeah. So it's like it's really it's it's, mm -hmm. it's nice to be back with those guys because they're all my great friends and it's good fun. So is Laylee going to be kind of like sarcastic like Kazooie and is um, Yuka going to be kind of that laid back type guy or you guys kind of making new personalities for them? Um, well, I, I guess what I haven't seen an awful lot of the dialogue yet. Uh, the Andy, Andy Robinson is writing the dialogue. I know he's a, a huge bunch of Kazooie fans, so I would be very surprised if that humor wasn't in there. Like all that kind of, it's that kind of, when, when, when the Banjo Kazooie team were together right at the start, it was just that the humor we had be between each other that it just kind of bled into, bled into the game, you know. So that's the way that kind of Brit, kind of sarcastic, you know, thing, just kind of, that's the way we all were. So I think, I'm sure it'll be something like that. Right. That's coming out next year, right? Next October? Yeah, I think about, yeah, about, just, yeah about a year from now. Okay, so we got a whole year left. Yeah, so yeah. I think, well, but I think that we, I think ukulele will be a little bit, little bit quiet for, for, for a little while, because after the kickstart was so incredible and getting the game yeah, going and stuff. Awesome. But I think that um, you'll see something from them well, certainly by E3, but I would think probably before that even you'll start to see some bits and pieces. All right. Do you think that Rare is ever going to make up another Banjo game? I don't know. I mean, obviously they own it. They own the, they own the IP. I mean, yeah, I, don't, I don't understand. I just, like, when they made a Rare replay, and I'm not hating on them at all. You know, I think it's great that they have that. But it's just, instead of making that, why don't you just make a new game? I don't understand. Like, you know, and it's, maybe it wouldn't be as big as it was back then, but the fan base is still big. I, there would still be some kind of market for that. And of course the new generations too. Um, yeah. I must admit, I, like, you know, I've got, I've got kids, right? I've got my son's 13 and my daughter's nine. Uh, and like, I know his friends have bought Rare Replay and they're loving Banjo Kazooie because they've never, they never seen it before. Like, the, and, and I guess, you know, good thing about kids is they don't give a shit what's cool. They just know what they like. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I like, can, seeing them play it and really like it, it's like, it's really heartwarming. And I do think there's a, I think Banjo Kazooie still stands up today, even though it maybe look a bit dated, it still plays great, you know. It does, yeah. Yeah. So I think that, um, I don't know with Rare, I mean, obviously they have the, but they're making that Sea of Thieves game and that's their big thing. So I think the entire studio is doing that. Yeah. So I, so I would think that's their big thing until it comes out. And if it does well, it does well. It does badly, I don't know. I mean, I, I would, what I think might happen is Microsoft, you know, they have um, like given Killer Instinct to other studios and they've done things like that. So they could give Banjo Kazooie to another studio to do. So I just don't think Rare are going to do it somehow. They might, but I don't see it, not for a while anyway. So they could get somebody else to do it. They own the, they own the entire IP that could do it. Yeah, it's just it's just something so great. And they just, I saw this one picture of fan drawing one since like they're locked away in this room, like at Rare headquarters, <laughs> and they're all kind of like lonely. And I think fan is actually eating kazooie or something like that. It's kind of uh, graphic, but yeah, that was kind of funny. Um, I, don't I don't know. I think, I just think that, 
I saw Ken Lobb, who's a guy that works at Microsoft for years, he was at Nintendo when I was at Rare. He went on record to say that Rare at some point would revive all the old IPs. So, like, that's Perfect Dark and Banjo Kazooie and Conquer. Yeah, weren't they doing another Conquer and then they just stopped it, like, in the middle of the production? I heard that. Uh, was yeah, it... I think that there was a there was Perfect Dark too. There was another Perfect yeah. Dark game going on that, that got canned as well when I was still there. Uh, Chris Seavey did Conquer was doing that. And it was great. It was going to be a great Perfect Dark, but they canned it. Um, so um, I don't know. You know, it's hard to know what Rare are going to do. I, I, they might do it, but I say right now, Sea of Thieves is a big thing for them. So there's going to be a long time before they get through that. Right. Um, you, you probably can't answer this question, but I'm just going to go out on limb and ask anyway. Was Nuts and Bolts always going to be Nuts and Bolts, or was there some? Uh, you know, was there actually was it, was it actually going to be a real predecessor to Banjo Tooie? I don't remember it ever being like going to be a Banjo Three. I don't remember that. Like I've they, seen I've seen some. Um, chat room thing about some ex rare dev who won't say what his name is and he kind of slagged me off a little bit and said that i was to blame for it or something um oh, that's, yeah, that's another rumor i heard that you that's all you you were the one who was like no cars forget all the other that, stuff just that's, cars that's, no no that's nonsense no. What I, the way i remember it is that the, the original idea was to do banjo kazooie again they were going to make banjo kazooie the first the original game as a as a co-op so you could play the original game over again but we could play it as a multiplayer together you could play the levels you could play as baddies and all that kind of stuff so that was the idea, and we, I said, because they were going to re going to redo all the levels, completely rebuild them, but you know, to a high quality. And I, I, me and a lot of the kind of senior guys there said, you know, really, it'll take you just as long to to remake the levels as they would to make new ones. So why don't we just make a new game? Right. So that, why, why do the old game? It seems like a daft idea, and that was kind of Tim Stamper's idea. So he was the head, the boss. So they went away and thought about it, and like Rare just bought in this thing called the Havoc Physics Engine which is an engine you could buy in to calculate the physics when things bang together and all that kind of stuff. So that had a little little kind of um, funny little game you could play, in, 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 like banging blocks together. And it started them thinking about using blocks to build things. So that was the, the original thing. And like, it, 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 it's a bit like Minecraft, really. It was a Minecraft idea, build what you like with blocks you can find. Um, so it kind of turned into that vehicle game. Um, and I think, you know, I was close to leaving Rare then, really. I was, you know, so I was like... Mm. You know, I don't. I was working on Pinata. I hadn't quite got to nuts and bolts, and I hadn't seen it for a while. Um, and so it just turned up at this rate, this car game. I was thinking, oh, you know, I did, wasn't what I wanted to do. Um, I wanted to, to do Banjo Three. Yeah, of make, course, make, make, like everyone state. wanted. Yeah, that's yeah. what I wanted to do. Um, so that's the way it turned out. I mean, I th you know, I, the funny thing is, like, my, as I say, my son, like, when, when we moved to America in two thousand eight, like when the when his friends used to come over to the house, that's the game they wanted to play. Because they thought it was great building vehicles and building wacky flying ships and underwater. That they loved that stuff, right? So that, but they didn't know who Banjo Kazooie was, so they didn't care. But so I think that, I think the time is right for an, another platform game. Yeah. So I think I think, but I think we've had to wait this long to kind of to get <laughs> to get to that point. Um, but I think you know, Ukulele's got all that charm. I think that Banjo had great. And I, I think the characters are funny, and I think it's going to be. You know, I've got I've, I can play the first level here, and it's good fun. And my son likes it, and you know, so I think it'll. I think you like it. Oh, yeah, I'm just so excited for that. And I know that, like, the developers are not going to listen to me at all. But can I just, like, suggest just one little thing? Oh, okay. I think Laylee is adorable. But the first time I ever saw her, there's just something that just sticks out for me. So Kazooie has eyelashes. But she does not have eyelashes. Can you just uh, say to them they need to add something to make her look more feminine? I think she would just be the cutest little little bat thing if she had some eyelashes or some eyeliner or just something. Like, Kazooie yeah. had, like, Kazooie had that, like... You know, some people thought she was a male, but she still had that kind of feminine look, you know, with the right. long eyelashes. They just, yeah. even just like three or just something, just something. To, no, no, I can see that. I'll, I'll just, I shall tell Steve Mail. Steve Mail is a guy that draws Banjo Kazooie. Yeah. Doing, he's drawing ukulele. I shall pass on your. your okay, uh, thank you. Seriously, just a little, like, not, you don't have to, you know, not like me, you don't have to do the full face. Just, you know, <laughs> a little lipstick or some eyelashes, just something to make, give her that feminine appeal, you know. I should, yeah, I should, I should make the suggestion. See, what he, I'll let you know what he says. Okay, thank you. Thank you so All much. Right. But, uh, who's your favorite banjo character? Just out of curiosity. Someone asked me that the other day, actually. I was thinking about it. Um, what was it? I quite like the... You know, when, when you go to uh, the the, uh, the the bit before Atlantis, when you're in that kind of... that that What's the town before Atlantis you yeah. go to before you jump in? There's a guy in there, I think you talked to behind the bar. He's a, the barman behind there. He's like a... Jolly Roger? Yeah, I think I like him. Yeah, I like him. <laughs> um, there's a lot of also um, just speculation on the internet that Ben and Kazooie are a couple. Do you, <laughs> do, you do you say yes? I don't. Think, I don't. I don't think they ever thought about it that way. I don't think so. No. I don't See, think I so. do. There's just. I think, I think they're just friends. I, I don't think. I, I, don't, I don't think that, that was ever kind of 
banded about when we made the game. I don't know. I mean, they live they live together. I know. Right? I, I can see what you mean, but I just I don't think we ever thought about it that way. They were just friends. I think that's what I thought. Maybe at the time, but times have changed. <laughs> you know, they haven't met any other birds or um, bears for a while. Time to. You know, just... I don't know. I, I never thought of it like that. Really, I did. I even when I was young, me and my brother would be like, "Are they a couple?" Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I think so. I'm not right. gonna listen to clips because uh, we made an animation of a robot, and <laughs> it was kind of like a sexualized robot, and so her nipples were kind of showing a little bit. And <laughs> some of the kids, it was Five Nights at Freddy's. You know that game, right? Right. Right. Yes. Yeah. And so all the little kids got really offended at that, and so they reported my channel, and now my channel's in bad standing. So <laughs> I can only have a 15 minute up upload. It is it's terrible. I make videos that are longer than that. This one's gonna be like in two parts now. It's just terrible. I get that. I think I think when we like when we did the banjo games, we put in lots of innuendo that no one spotted till years later. Yeah. And like Nintendo didn't spot it, you know. So, so I think we all do that kind of thing. Um, yeah. So I'm, I'm I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's okay. I think another four months and we'll and we'll get that back. No, oh, God, how, how annoying! That's ridiculous. Yeah. No, it is ridiculous. Yeah. Do people ever criticize your work? Um. No, uh, no. I've, I've been looking about, about that. My, my only mistake, not mistake, but like when I did the Game Grumps thing, like I just swore for the entire hour. Like I just swore. Oh, that was funny. You know, you know kind of thing. And it was, it was great fun. John and Aaron are really good guys. Yeah. But I never really thought about it. And I kind of, and then you know, I think I realised now the, the internet's forever because like my son's now thirteen. That his friends have started to find it. Oh, he, he is Mr. Kirko. You know, Max's dad. And you know, it's like. And they're all like, oh my God. <laughs> you know, they, they're like some of the parents have gone, oh, Mr. Kirkhope will click, 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 click on the link to listen to it and go, oh my God, and turn it off quickly, you know. So I think that um, I've learned how the internet's forever. I, need to leave it. I think I am quite foul mouthed most of the time, so I need to kind of learn to dial it in a little bit, I think. I don't think so. I mean, you, you can't, you can't, um, you know, parent other people's kids and stuff. And sometimes you just have to, you know, let loose, just have fun. You, know, you can't be prim and proper all the time. I thought it was a really funny. No, I'm, honestly, I'm doing that was great fun, and as I say, John and Aaron are really, really funny guys. So that was just super fun doing that. It really was. I love doing it, but I just, I just didn't think about, you know, a million and a half people will watch it like it, like it has been. You know, it's a bit. I keep, that's a lot of people. You know, so um, I kind of thought I should probably. My wife keeps saying to me, "Just for God's sake, Grant, just can you not just swear a bit less? You just swear all the time." You and, haven't you know, sworn yet once in the interview. I know. I, I know I've been quite. I've been quite good today. So no, no, just, no, swear! I want you to swear. I can't. I can't. My wife will tell me off. It's been early. It's too early in the morning. Ten to ten's too early. Oh my gosh! Really? Here, I feel like it's like already in the, one in the afternoon. Yeah, because yeah, I guess I'm at West Coast time out. So yeah. You, wait. So you live in the states right now? Yeah, I live in LA. So I'm in LA, the West Coast. To be like closer to work. Uh, well, when we, when we kind of when we were like. Um, before we had kids, so we lived in the UK, we started going on vacation to the West Coast because, like, you know, you're a Brit, you want to go to California and come to Vegas and all that stuff. And we always, like, thought to ourselves, wouldn't it be great to live and work here? So our, our goal for a long time was being to get to California and to live here. So it just, it's just kind of worked out. So we are in LA now and we really like it. That's so sunny and the kids like it and we're near Malibu and all that stuff. So it's, it's cool, you know. So, yeah, so we love being here. It's great. So it's sunny where you are right now because it's really, oh, wait, never mind. The sun's out now. All right. <laughs> I, I came to Canada like about a couple of months ago for that Con Bravo in Hamilton, is it? Ontario? You, wait, you went, went to there. Hamilton? Yeah, I was there. Like That's that so Con close Bravo. to where I live. Oh, really? No, I was there because it's, it's that Con Bravo's there, you know, the, that, that, uh, that convention thing. Yeah. So I, was, I, got, I got invited there, so I was there for a weekend. Yeah. That's such a small city, though, isn't it? Yeah, I, I was just there for the convention. I was just right across in the hotel from the convention, so I was just kind of there for three days. Oh, my gosh. Uh, <laughs> That's so close. We could have had a real interview. We should have. We should have we should, I wouldn't you should have told me. Like, but, I mean, that was my first trip to Canada ever. It was my first time I've been there, so. Oh my gosh, and you wasted it on Hamilton? <laughs> well, I, did, I, I thought it was all right. Go, go, go to British Columbia. That is the most beautiful place. Well, I, well, you know, if I get invited back, I'll go again. So, you know, we'll see. All right, well, if I had money in a convention, I would invite you. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not happening anytime soon, so. No, I, was good. I liked it. It was good fun. The good, pe good people there were. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, this was Grant Kirkhope. He has composed a lot of awesome things. And you said you were doing movies, too? Well, I'm trying to. I'm not done it yet. I'm trying to do it. Okay. Oh, I, well, I'm, I'm an author. I wrote a book, and I oh, know right. that one day it is going to be turned to a movie. So when it gets turned to a movie, I will call you, and you will do the music for it. That's a deal. That's a deal. Okay, I'll great. It. It's called Mackenzie High. All right, I'll yeah. do it. You can even act in it if you want. You can be like. On the <laughs> I think I was pushing it. I'm not a good actor. Okay, well, no, you just have to stand there, maybe, and like write something on the chalkboard. I can do that. I can do that. Yeah, okay, great. Yeah. All yeah. right, what's well, the deal? All right, well, thank you so much, Grant, and hopefully I will send this to you and. Hopefully it won't be any more than a couple parts. 
Yeah. So. No, honestly, no worries. I'll just send me some stuff and I'll tweet it out. No worries. Okay. Well, thank you so much. All right. Have All a right, great day. Joy. Nice to meet All you. All right. Thanks. Yeah, you too. Bye. Bye.